Welcome back to Flashpunk. It's been a while. I know. But Flashpunk is back. It's better than ever. And it's easier to get started than ever before. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you just how simple it is to get the most recent version of Flashpunk up and running so you can start making games and stuff. Because I know that that's what you want to do. I've seen your comments on the previous videos. Stuff doesn't work because the library changed. That's why I'm redoing these videos for you guys. So things will work when I say that they will work. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're in Windows. We're going to be using Flash Develop and the latest version of Flashpunk. So go ahead and point your browser to http colon slash slash use flashpunk.net. The first thing you'll see, completely new site, revamped, full of tutorials, complete doc documentation on the front page, great new community, all the old guys are there, all the new guys are there, it's just a bunch, there's, all people are there, we're all having fun, you know, we're chatting, chat rooms, whatever. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's set up our development. All we need to do, click this big green button, get Flashpunk. So this has downloaded the most up-to-date build as of today, which is 2 July 2013. Let's go ahead and open that up. And what do you see here? Is this a, a folder full of folders? No. We got our license, our README, and the SWC, which is the compiled library of Flashpunk. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to go into Flash Develop. And we're going to make a very new project. Let's do Bare Bones, an ActionScript 3 project. Let's name it Hello World. We'll put it there and we will create a directory for the project. Hit OK. So as you can see here, Flash Develop's already given us a little source folder here. All we have to do to install Flashpunk, just drag that and drop it into our library folder. We can close this. We're done with that now. We don't even need that. So in our project file, you'll see that here, is our compiled library. It still has all of the beautiful stuff. Here there's all, all your classes and things that you need. So to use this library, we just want to right click, add to library. Boom. We got Flashpunk. So let's go ahead and make a quick little application just to get started. So what's this garbage? We don't need that. Get rid of that mess. You always comment, you always comment your stuff. A simple hello world application using Flashpunk. Get rid of this. Alright, get rid of this. So you can see Flashpunk, Flash Develop has this set as our entry, it's our document class. That's great. So from here we want to extend engine. And this will extend the core of the Flashpunk rendering engine. Right like that. And in our main function, we want to call super. And let's set a nice height and width. So hmm, let's do 256 by 244 we can leave all the rest default so we got our Super Nintendo resolution here very very popular we can use this tag here SWF to easily set our height and width without having to muck with properties that's boring that's old news we don't need that width equals 512 height equals 488 
yeah, that's it. And we'll close that bracket. And this meta tag here is going to automatically set our SWF's height and width. Convenient. So let's include our flashpunk class. Net.flashpunk.fp. FP, as always, is full of very useful and easily accessible tools and tricks and tips. Well, there's, I don't think there's any tips in there, but I'm giving you tips. I'll give you tips. You get the tools and tricks from FP. So fp.screen.scale equals two. Those nice chunky pixels that everybody loves. All the kids are doing it. And as always, we're going to override. We want to override init. So when the Flashpunk engine begins, it's going to call this function here. And we can give it a nice little trace if we'd like. Flashpunk has started. Always great to see that. Now, we need to go into our very first world. Flashpunk uses worlds as a container of all the good stuff that's going to go on. We're going to put our bad guys there. We're going to put our backgrounds there. We're going to put our damages, our, our scores. All that stuff's going to go in there. But since this is the very first intro, we're just setting stuff up. Let's just say hello world. So we're going to add a new class in our source folder. Add new class. That was easy. You got to stay or organized here. So we're going to make a brand new package. Worlds. That's going to hold all of our worlds. And I'm going to be clever. And this world's going to be named hello. It's our hello world. Now our base class, we want to inherit from Flashpunk's world class. So we should just be able to type in world. Find it right there. Net.flashpunk.world. And uh, that looks good to me. So we'll hit OK. And the entry world for this demo. Just very quickly here, we'll go override. I want to override the begin. Begin function for a world means that the world has begun. Everything's good to go to start adding cool stuff. So let's go ahead and add a cool stuff. Add graphic. I want to make a new text. Text is a Flashpunk graphic class that allows us to de display texts and strings and words to our player. What what are we going to say? Let's give them the recipe for a BL. No, let's let's just say hello world. Hello world. We can leave all the rest the same. It'll be at zero zero. And there's our world. When it starts, it just adds a graphic of hello world to the world, to the hello world. This is, I think this is too confusing. I've made, I've made some mistakes. Mistakes have been made. All right, let's go ahead and save that. And FP, remember, cool tools and tricks. FP.world, that's our current world that's active. Oh, it says it right there on the screen. Currently active world. We're gonna make a new instance of our hello world. So world's hello world, you can see that flash develops gonna automatically import that for us. We'll create a brand new one of those. So let's go ahead and try it out. Test the project. Boosh. What did you expect? That was gonna mess up? That's not me. No way, that's not me. So you can see right there. Hello world, shown on the screen. Check our output. We can see that Flashpunk has in fact started. So, my friend, we, we've just made a game using Flashpunk. We don't have to worry about folders of files. We don't have to worry about that business. Click, drag, type, run. Flashpunk.